good morning good morning i'm gonna try my hand at a getting it done mini vlog showing you how it is when i get up in the morning and what i do right now i have my windows closed blinds closed and everything because i'm just getting up and my phone is usually right here next to my bed so six degrees fahrenheit with clear skies and sun Today, you can expect mostly sunny weather, with a high of 57 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Alright y'all, let's get up, let's get up. My curtains, are, you can see where I had a little crack open a little bit. I didn't close them all the way, but they're about to get open. So, watch my little mini vlog of my day as a homemaker and a mom. We need some real light so I can get this stuff. Oof. Oof. Let me get my rope. So I had to, um, I found my, these are actually, well, they're bathrobes, but they can be, you know, whatever robe you want them to be. I found them and I washed them the other day. I'm like, oh, let me put this on. The silk one is fine to sleep in with well, a silk um, gown, but it was kind of chilly. So I said, let me throw this on because it's kind of cold outside. Waiting for the bacon. I'm going to do the little TikTok hack with those cinnamon rolls and just continue watching. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to show you what a day in the life is like for me on like laundry day and just homemaking and doing things around the house kind of like what my daily routine is except for doing laundry every day um yeah so continue watching
do mine a little bit different because I want to thin this out a little bit. So I put a little bit of cream right here and then I just go in and kind of drizzle them on. But I'm gonna flip them over because you don't need that much. Some, I think some, they just make too much. It makes too much. So I'm gonna go in and flip them over so they can have it on both sides. The cream on each side. That's what I do. And this is our, well, Rizzy has company, so, and they love when I make breakfast. I always try to make something that I know that they like. So. I'll be back after I flip them on. See, all drizzle and not a real thick layer underneath. Nice layer, but not too thick. Let's mix this up real quick. And put it on top of these cinnamon rolls. This will cook into them. Try it, guys. Try it this way. It's going to melt and fall all into and all down on the cinnamon roll. really sweet so you can lighten up on your sugar or whatever if you choose to you can do that I don't like it to fall down so I like it to make it a little bit thicker um, so it at least stay and start baking on it before it starts to melt so that's why I do that bacon is done This has already been seasoned, and since it's cold, it doesn't look like it. It looks dry, but it's actually ha it actually has oil in it. You'll see it as it gets hot. You see that? <laughs> the cold air made the butter look, see it's even on my hand. <laughs> I mean, the lard that I have on there look dry. Get ready to scramble some eggs. If you know, you know, all of these white things got to go. God, I wasn't recording. But I don't like to over um, mix these. When you over mix them, they become tough and uh, they, they won't be fluffy. This is just some Himalayan salt. I want to start using Celtic salt, but once I'm done with that Himalayan salt, I will. I like to use what I got and then, you know, go to something else. So, all right. So I'm sitting here waiting for the um, the cinnamon rolls to cook a little bit. So I started putting up stuff and I'm like, why am I not sharing this? But this is all the stuff that I do putting up the dishes then I'm going to be making me some coffee so I got my little cup out for my coffee so let's put this stuff away save these little bit dishes so I don't have to run the water again to after um, breakfast is over. And I like to brush my teeth. It depends on when I'm eating, but I'm gonna brush my teeth and floss after breakfast. And we're gonna put these two pots up. Okay, now let me show you how I make my coffee. faster that's that if you're gonna watch my coffee journey you'll know this is just a 
let you know in the future from that video that I end up loving the stainless steel coffee press. I don't know, it's like this side is my favorite side to do everything, so. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna grab the coffee. I'm gonna put the coffee down here, and I usually put about eight of these. And this is a French vanilla coffee that I found at Big Lots when they had their 50% off. And so now I wait for the water. All right, waiting for the water to boil. A sight that I love in the mornings, just to see a good meal getting ready to be cooked, putting smiles on their face and making me a nice, fresh, old school cup of coffee. All right, we are ready. <clears throat> a certain line, I mean, a much amount you want to put in you want to go you don't want to go higher than that let that sit for a little bit y'all yeah, trying to record i forgot to let the coffee bloom but hopefully it'll still taste good that's when you put a little hot water on it at the bottom let it sit for like 30 seconds and then pour the water but it's okay to go in my fave. See how much bigger these ones got? These are the ones that I recommend not the Pillsbury flat little biscuit looking ones that don't unravel. Those do not work. These definitely do. And they taste so good. And these are way cheaper at Hardy's. I got these in a haul and shared these with you guys. All right, so breakfast is done. I'm getting ready to make their plates and then make my coffee. All right, their plates are done.
one reason why I can't wait to get my table together so we can sit down and eat instead of going separate places because we don't have a table right put up right now. Mommy got the ugly cinnamon roll, so I got my meal, my food. Something or someone or situation that is action. And if people cannot do right by you, to light that candle in there midday it's like what time is it hold on it's only 12 um so yeah i'm going to fold that laundry when it's done and kind of move boxes where i want them to be to start getting more stuff out that living room because i do want to um closer to thanksgiving set up my christmas stuff and hopefully have my fire place place exposed and have built my shelves that I want to build. Um, I got a lot of work to do. How to DIY type work in this house my, that I have to do. Like I wanted people to do some of the major things that I didn't have to do, but then the other stuff, you know, leave it to me. Like I can paint the walls, I can build the shelving, the closet, you know, I can do all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I said I wasn't gonna talk, but I wanted to jump in every now and then and say something, so. All right, let me continue um, listening to my spiritual message and uh, I'll see y'all when it's time to, I guess, fold clothes. Or maybe, I'm waiting for them to finish eating or maybe um, time to wash the dishes, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff, I don't want Rizzy to have to be bothered and you know, I don't, she don't like to be on the camera, so sometimes I'll just do it, so we'll see. All right. Sure.
Hey, my gators. Hey, my gators. I am talking on my microphone. I did find it. Thank you, God. I found it. I thought I was going to have to look in so many boxes to find it, but I have it. And I want to know, do you like to hear the sound effects of the videos? Do you like to hear me voice over or do you like to hear me talking in the videos? Talk to me in the comments because I talk back because I want to learn how to perfect these videos to make them very entertaining and informative for you guys. All right, later Gators, see you in the comments. Okay, <clears throat> all her stuff is folded. That's all my stuff, so let me give her her stuff and I'll be back. All right, guys, I am done. I am tired. I am going to um, end this here and uh, yeah, finish my coffee and finish <sighs> trying to put this with the rest of the video <laughs> and see if I can edit it, so. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do. Remember, I am the single mom versus the fixer upper. I bought this house that does not look like it looked when I first got it. I had a vision. God gave it to me. I pulled through the tears, the crying, the snot nose and everything, trying to figure out did I make a mistake and what was I doing? But I didn't want to give up because I knew who my source was. And I'm in a state in a city where I have no family or anybody that I know, um, but I'm doing it. So that's just a little encouragement to you. I'm proud of what this looks like. That's why I'm showing it because some people show stuff, but it's just how they walked into it. No, I made this along with God what it is. And I'm a single mom starting over after being married 18 years. It's difficult. Not difficult. It's different. Um, it is peaceful. Not saying that I wasn't peaceful, but... It's, it's a different piece when you don't have to worry about anything but yourself and your child and your child kind of, you know, what is it, follows you. And um, I, I'm just in a, on a journey of just loving on me, loving on me more so that I can be great for my emperor. Um, and yeah, that's where I'm at. I don't want to ramble. I didn't mean to even put that in there. It may or may not be in there. Who knows? Let me go. Talk to me in the comments. I do talk back. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in here, I do talk back. I'm very old school with a lot of stuff, and I love it. It's so nostalgic, and it just makes me feel happy, and it brings a different type of joy to me when I can create a atmosphere in my home that is just so peaceful and make people want to be here. All right? Later, get this.